I know it won't change the fact that I left you so suddenly, but do you think it would help if I try to explain? I would like to hear it. I don't know if you're just doing this for attention, but until you tell me what's wrong, it's, it's, it's going to come across that way. Trust me, I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on either. Then how am I supposed to help? I'm really going to call the police at this point. No, no, I, why, why does he want to call the police? No, anything but that. Please, please don't. But there's nothing I can do to fix this. Why, do, what do you want me to do? I'll, I'll figure something out. Something that's best for all of us, okay? Oh, finally, that took you a while. But I'm glad you're finally coming around. Did you say something? No, no, I'm heading outside. Just hurry up with your solution. There really only is one option, is there? As long as I stay here, we will keep making each other miserable. Not only are you getting fed up with me, I can also tell you're annoyed with each other. And I hate that. I don't want to ruin things for everyone. Is there anything I can do? We might be like a family, but... What I want most right now is my mom's my mom's kind words and my dad's comforting hugs. <laughs> I'm a bit of a baby, aren't I? But that's it's nothing new. Maybe this time my cowardice will, will solve the problem. You guys need a break from me and I could use a break from everything. Lily, I'm sorry to bother you, but you want some cake? Oh, so that's a... Uh, um, that's also a flashback now? No answer. Yeah, that's okay. I'll just leave it outside and you can come to get it when you feel like it. But you better be fast. Lai will come back from his walk soon. So this is um. I see. So this is a flashback now, but from Lilium's perspective? Is he... is he gone? Lilium, I, I found a form I'd like you to fill out. This should help us pinpoint your symptoms. Well, are, are you going to do it? I know you're in there. Alright, slide it under the door. Oh, I, I thought we could do this together. You see, I have two forms and I figured it would be less awkward if I filled out one out as well. Uh, I'm sorry, I really can't right now. Ah, oh, very well. Do it by yourself. But maybe we can discuss it together this evening. Maybe. Okay, Licorice is coming back. I need to be quick. After sending his mother a message announcing his return, he scans his room. Oh, that's it. I, I can use the form. Lillian picks up the piece of paper laying on the floor, then grabs a pen. Nah, uh, how should I start? To my dear friends. It's pretty basic, but I want to them to know that I'm not angry. Now for the actual message. I'm sorry that this is all I leave you with, but I can't do this anymore. Hmm. It almost sounds a little guilt trippy. I should make sure they don't feel bad about it. Please don't worry about me, I'm at a much better place now. Yeah, that's more like it. You know I have a good relationship with my parents. Lilium. I really am a coward. Can't even personally say goodbye. Hey, you okay in there? I want to apologize for lashing out like that earlier. In a panic, Lilium scrambles around in his room, then decides to hide on the balcony. Oh, come on, don't sulk now. I, I didn't mean everything I said. He sighs and closes the door behind him. What's my problem? He's being completely nice right now. Lilium overhears Licorice's efforts to enter his room. Why can't I face him? Why can't I get over my biggest fear? Speaking of fears, Lilium almost looks like he is tempted to jump from the balcony. It's... It's not that high, right? I can make it. Oh wow, he actually plans to do it. <laughs> right? The sound of his door being kicked open gives him the courage he needs. So he jumps. Oh, so he just... <laughs> he just got out that way. I merely sprained my arm, so the train ride home was no big deal. Lilium, you're so unbelievably stupid. I <laughs> can't argue against facts. Oh, don't be mean, Licorice. Do you want to scare him away again? Ah, in the end it really was my fault you left, huh? I pressured you to find a solution. Yes, but that was a good thing, I, I don't blame you. 
I knew you were dealing with depression yourself, so I felt pathetic, pathetic for not being able to keep it together like you. You, oh, you should have worried about yourself, you idiot. Everyone handles things differently. How could I not have worried about you? It, it seemed like you were more affected by my slump than I was. Your constant bickering made me realize I don't exist in a vacuum and that I needed to take action. So what ended up helping you snap out of it? Well, since he left, clearly space was all he needed. That's not true. All three of, all, all three of you were right. I need space, the support of my loved ones and a therapist to talk to. Huh, your loved ones, huh? Of, of course you would have qualified as one of them. But it didn't really work out that way. I just... From the bottom of my heart, I'm... Sorry. I should have been more transparent. Oops, skip that again. I, why does it skip dialogue sometimes? It's okay, Lily. You don't have to open up if you don't... It's always when, when they're like not finishing a sentence. Probably because the way I set the text speed. It's okay, Lily. You, you don't have to open up, up if you don't... No, otherwise the same thing is gonna happen all over again. We're here for you, Lily. And it's our job to cheer you up when you're not doing okay. You don't have to worry about being cool or strong in front of us. Yeah, we appreciate you just the way you are. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I'm glad we could sort this out. I promise it, it won't happen again. Good. If this happens a second time, I'll make sure that you're dead with my own two hands, God damn it. Sit down. Shouldn't we be happy that we were wrong? That he's alive? Of course, but I've already accepted his death. This this just feels too good to be true. But it is true. In retrospect, I don't understand how or why we concluded his death so quickly. We didn't even call his parents to ask why if they knew something. I guess we were all a little stupid. <laughs> I wouldn't have in any other way. Their light-hearted chuckles are interrupted by Licorice's stomach growling. Didn't Leah mention food delivery earlier? That sounds like a great idea right now. Are you joking? Delivery isn't enough. This reunion definitely justifies a restaurant visit. Oh, sounds good to me. Only if I pay. After all the trouble I've caused, it's the least I could do. No complaints here. No, friends reunited. You look a little awkward, Willow. Is everything okay? Willow did not want to interrupt what seemed like an important discussion. No, oh, that's nice of you, but your input is always welcome. You don't have to be quiet just because of Lilium. But now that Lilium is back, Willow has no reason to exist. <laughs> Why would you say that? Willow's parents are happy now. The family is reunited. Will Willow not be gotten rid of? <laughs> Willow, earlier you said that the four of us care about each other. What uh, was that conclusion incorrect? Incomplete. You were forgetting something. Willow does not understand. You. Willow cannot forget themselves. <laughs> Use your interference skills. That's that's not what he means. You didn't mention that we care about you. You're, you're part of this family too. <laughs> Whether or not Lilium is here, that's not going to change. You were never a replacement, so we don't get rid of you. You're important to us, Willow. More than you might be able to understand right now. What does lie mean? I mean that we... Uh, that we... It's okay, you, you, you can say it. <laughs> Take your time. Oh, shut up, I'm trying to be genuine. Lycris leaves a long, suffering sigh, but a hint of a smile appears on his face. <sighs> Willow, we... We love you. Aww. <laughs> so cute. Love. Yes, love. Can Willow be loved? Anyone is capable of being loved. If you're not worthy of love, I don't want to know wh uh, what that would say about me. This is about Willow Licorice. Do you want to say that we love you too? I don't, I don't want to hear that from either of you. What about what about Lilium? You you said that this was about Willow. Willow loves their family too. Aww. Aww. Yes, I got the good end. Okay, but I kind of 
I, I hoped I would get a good end, but I think I chose the, the options that would go towards forgiveness and not towards, I don't know, revenge. Whoa, what, what a turn of events. Dang. Art, Programming and Writing by Kigio. Writing by Honey and Function and Music by Aluminum. Sound Effects by Ozi Owoop, Ozabisi and Backgrounds by Joe and Sai, Austin Gardner, Nguyen Khan Lai, sorry if I wrote that, uh, read that wrong, Outside Co, Clark Street Mercantile and Haley Sable. Additional music, Symphony Number no. 9 in E minor from the New World Opus 95 from Antonin Dvorak. This game was made within 30 days for Nanoren... Nano... Na <laughs> Why do I have problems with this word now? Nano Reno 2019. Wow, within 30 days. That's, that's a very short time. Dang. Thank you for playing. Well, thank you for allowing me to play it. Dang. Extras have been added to the game menu. <gasps> I have extras. They are right here. Let's let's take a look at the extras. No, I get a gallery <laughs> with pictures. Robot. Music room. Ah, oh, here I can play the the themes. I don't have the horror theme because I didn't have the bad ending. Damn, but I, now I want to know what the bad ending would have been. I hope it would have been that they forgot to program those three rules of roboting and that the robot killed somebody. I, I hope that would, that would be the bad ending. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to play it again to get the bad ending because, you know, of course, I'm more... Ha I'm happier with the, with the good ending. What is there? No, that was it. Okay, cool. Then why not stay with this picture to, to make a short conclusion about what I think about the game? I would have liked to also see the bad ending because, you know, I also like stories that go wrong or that end with murder. I mean, why not? Would have been interesting what happens. Hmm. You know what? I will guess what happens. I guess that um, they accidentally taught the robot um, about, I don't know, mm, about killing people or about that being a solution. And then to solve a problem, I don't know which problem, because probably there would have been a quarrel between the three of them. And the robot then decided to kill one of them as a solution. Or Lilium came back, like in this ending, uh, which was very surprising, to be honest. <laughs> and then the robot would have killed Lilium because it kind of thought it was a replacement for Lilium. I, I have no idea. But yeah, I think what would have played into the story was that they accidentally taught, taught the robot to scream earlier. <laughs> Probably that would have happened. I don't know. And as we already established, it's quite strong. So probably it would have strangled somebody. I don't know. You, have, you will have to play the game yourself to try out the bad ending. Or you can also play it for the good ending. I mean, it's a really nice story and you can have it at your own speed and without my voice which could also be a good thing I don't know <laughs> but um, I really enjoyed playing it um, the backgrounds were nice not like super cool but also not distracting it was okay the character design was really cute I like this the the art Kigyo does and um, I think this is one of his older games when I'm not mistaken and in the newer games it's even a little bit more advanced than the artwork hmm what else do I have to say about the characters I feel like they've been a little bit stereotypical but when you tell a short story that's the, the way you have to do it I think because you can't have such a round character when you don't have too many words to describe them and too many scenes where they can act in their character traits. Does, does that make sense? Yeah. And um, hmm, what else? The story. I think the end now was really surprising because I also thought that Lillian was dead. It seemed a little bit weird that she should have just escaped through the balcony 
because he didn't want to be uh, a burden to them? I mean, wouldn't he have texted, yeah, I'm with my parents or something that they don't worry? And how could he not see that his letter sounded like a goodbye letter from somebody who would commit suicide? What, what was that about? That, that was a little bit too, hmm, I don't know, too many coincidences for my taste. But you know, for the sake of having a good ending, why not? <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm not against it. it. It was really okay. And um, I think that's everything I have to say. For me personally, the conversations that I enjoyed most was when, when they were asking the robot questions. For example, this last psychological test, tests that um, Strelitzia did with it. For example, the, those questions when, like, if you have to kill three men now to save three million men in the future. That was interesting. I would have liked to hear more about that. And I think in a longer game, you could have spun out more of those ideas and gone a little bit more into, I don't know, philosophical, political and moral questions. But yeah, that's, that's a lot to ask. I mean... You've done this game in 30 days. I'm really impressed. Hands down. And um, I'll probably look into the other games that Kigio has done. Has developed. Uh, until then, I, I'll say goodbye to all of you. And uh, yeah, try his games as well. Bye.